Welcome to Bob's Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bob'straining.org. Moreover, if you'd like to receive the latest tech news or anything related to interviews to help you get an offer, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat channel here. Just take out your phone and scan this. And today we're going to talk about this problem, threesome. Uh, actually, this problem, threesome, not threesome closes. We'll talk about that next. Um, what was the awesome name, right? Threesome. Um, <laughs> uh, given an array S of integers, so um, now they want to find if there's an element that A plus B plus C equals to zero. Well, this zero could be anything, could be a target, so it should be fine. So they ask you to, if you can find unique triplets, so first of all, it has to be unique in the array which sums to zero. And then all these triplets, the numbers has to be in an ascending order, uh, like, well, non-descending order. And uh, there could be duplicates in the array. So this just uh, naturally reminds us of the last problem we discussed, which is two sum. We can solve it in either n log n by sorting or o n by o n time and o n space using a hash map. Um, well, this, if you think about this way, so a plus, um, a plus b plus c equals to zero, it could be a plus, we can easily do this, right? So this essentially now is a two sum problem. So this minus c will be the target. So we could, of course, using a hash map to solve it, but uh, it's kind of a little bit complicated because they want the, the dedupe thing. So it's more like natural if you want to dedupe it, just skip the duplicate element in the array. So we just decided to use the sorting algorithm to to solve this. Okay, um, let's see how we're going to do it using the sorting way. So by sorting it, n log n first, and then we will have a, we will, for each of the number as a target, we'll apply the, uh, the two sum algorithm. So that will give us O n, n log n plus n square complexity, so it will be o n square without any extra space. All right, let's code it up. It's less than three. So if less than that it means it's nothing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sort it as we agreed upon. Now Okay, so for each of this, we'll treat it as our targets, just like the two sum. Okay, and now, we'll have a left equals to, so now think about it, so each one of this, should we start from the beginning or should we start just from the end? So if we start from the beginning, there will be duplicates, all we need to do so if we start from the beginning, right, so then there will be equals to this sum has been calculated before. Wait, let me think about it. So for example, just using this example. <laughs> so when it equals to zero, right, so if we sort it, first of all, right. So now if we, let's say if we, this is a target. So what I want is my left should start from here to here equals to sum this or from this. 
Well, we could you if we if I start from the very beginning, then there will be duplicates because there will be values that I I already calculated before, and then it will sum again to the same value. So that's not what I want. So what I'm going to do is. Okay, so this here, I'm just applying the two sum. If this equals two, Here, that means I am having one of the values. So, teacher, they actually want the real values, not the indices. So, um, so with here, I always know my target is the smallest one, right? And then the left is the next smallest, and then the right. And then add this. So now, because there could be duplicates, for example, if you find this minus one, minus one, zero, one, right? So now you want here, there will be another one. So you, what you need to do or is you want to skip, skip these numbers. Like uh, this is well, more like in the, another iteration, but if there are still numbers could sum to this same value. So you want to skip the same number from left and right to to eventually find the value. So this is the dedupe comes from. So while um, left is less than size and numbers And uh, size and numbers left if it's equals to um you know what I think I'm going to have a int temp equals to numbers left left less than size and uh, this equals to this what I'm going to do is I will just have this left keep plotting so first it will be the same right so because left first left is the left is the same so it will just keep increasing if it's the same it will just keep doing this so now I will have t equals to numbers dot right deduping larger than I larger or equal because we start from I so as long as this is should be good and 
think this is here. It's a little bit messy now. Okay. Else if sum is less than minus one times target else if sum is less than so we want to sum to this guy right so sum is less than that we want to increase the num numbers so I will do this um, here I could do another could skip dupes that's also fine but if it's not an answer or just another type of calculation it will still doing the same thing it should be fine and uh, so this is after the while loop and then here I could also do while i is less than size and numbers equals to target I could just skip this value because we already calculated this right I could do this if I plus one then equals to Target of this I plus plus until it's not, and then it will be a new so if it's still less than size. Then because it will always be the same. Let me just do this. Okay, and the last part is to return the result. Let's take a quick look. Having this sort get the length for each of the number, left, right, get a number. So If sum equals to minus target, we're doing this equals to number. If if it's equal, just plus it minus it. Okay, so we could run a few test cases, right? So here, for this one, we're expecting two solutions. So for our solution, so first of all, so we'll have, uh, so first of all, after sort, we'll, we'll have in this, right? So then minus four, two. So we first we'll use minus four as our target. And then here, we're gonna find some, some, something equals to four where we could not find any and then we we'll use minus one as target we will find something equals to one where we could find minus one minus one and the two is one pair and uh, and then zero one is another pair right and then because this is the same, we just skip this one. Is it the same? We skip. Okay, this is not the same, right? We're trying to find something equal to zero. And then we could not find anything equals to zero. We find something equals to one. Okay, I think it looks correct. 
And then even here, it covers the duplicate case, right? So if there's no answer, then there will be new answers. Oh, error. Hmm. Okay. Minus one, zero, one. Okay. So here we only left Oh it will be an infinite loop with this implementation because if it's not equal it's only equal it will equal so I did not do anything Okay so let me do this I think this is wrong. My bad. Um, so after we do this, we just want to left wall plus plus, right wall decrease. So now if it's still less than size and this number if is equals to the previous value, so we just want to increase the value and if it's larger than i and still equals to right value. So we're just doing this, okay. Mm. Line 40, for i g h t. Okay, so this solution basically then it will be on square solution without any extra space. Thanks for watching.